Hello everyone. Look, we have sun again in Missouri. This is our second day. I need to get the solar heating panels back up and running again so that I can take advantage of this free sun <laughs> energy. And um, as you know from a couple videos back, my solar panels took on water. Uh, get the panels back up and are running. I guess I'm going to bring you back here so you can see what I'm doing. Let me see if I can find a way to secure this with me doing this one-handed. I think the ground is kind of... Yeah, it's still really soft. bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing. Get you out of the wind. Need a little more sunlight on the subject. This is the best I can do for now. The um, other panels have vents already installed in them to where the hooks, the this can just hook up to it. This one I had to go to the hardware store and get one of these. If you can see there's a ring right here and then you bend this backwards like this and it'll hold the um, six inch start collar in place. So what I'm going to do is put it on here and there's a problem because there's wood in here too. So I'm going to have to, let me bring you back in a little closer and show you. Okay, see right here there's wood in there and the metal here. I'm going to have to pull it back and then take my fingers and crump it down so it's holding on to just the metal. I should have gloves for this. Okay. And it's 28 degrees out here, so it's so. Arr, <laughs> not good. This is the wrong day to be doing this. Start over. like the I saw something about the word fail you know fail actually stands for first attempt and try again you see right here where it did have um, a vent secured to it By having gloves, I wouldn't be cutting my fingers either on the sheet metal. But let me try this again. Get this going enough that I can just get it to hold.
is a job that requires patience, and I'm not a person known for a lot of patience, but I'm learning. Uh, but that'll do for now. You've got the ideal. And then you take the vent right here. I was looking for a zip tie, the metal locks or the metal um, rings that you could buy that screwed down on the side. Um, they didn't have any big enough to go around the black part and I wasn't going to pay $16 for cable ties big enough because I don't that many use for enormous uh, cable ties and so I drop it again called patience try it again this time. Okay. I'm going to see if... Okay. Let's see how I'm getting it all the way back here. And for temporary, I've got this rope that I'm going to put on it where duct tape would work too, but um, it's too cold to take a chance on it sealing. So for now, this rope will do. And then I will get duct tape around this and seal it up. Let's see. I'm gonna grab the duct tape. Nope, hang on a minute. Let me go grab the duct tape. to do for now. This will be good enough to get the heat going in the house for today. I'm going to make a shield over the top 
to make water roll off like this. This is good enough to get me through to warmer weather. But bring you back over here. We'll get the the set back to the right tilt. When you look at this, um, we're at, um, our latitude is 38 degrees, and you add 15 degrees to that, so you go right here from. Let's see. Thirty-eight degrees is right here under forty, and I need to add fifteen to it. So my um, tilt needs to be fifty-three degrees to get the proper sunlight for winter. That's gonna have to do for now. This side needs to come up more. Uh, but we'll wait for a warmer day to fix that. This should be good enough to get the solar going back in. One thing about the solar heating, if there's no sun, there's no heat. But when there is sun, you do save on your um, utility cost. Still too much shade on the solar panels. 10 o'clock. That one should be cooking pretty well. You know, and this one needs to be moved out further. You know, in time, that'll happen. If you put the thermometer in here, this is a meat thermometer, oven thermometer. It just went from 68 to 70, so it's starting to heat up. I've got the fan going over here. And you don't really feel much of anything except for a little bit of cool air. It just went up to 73. The snow's melted enough for the chickens to come out. <laughs> okay. I was hoping to find them not here digging snow, but nope. <laughs> okay, here's what it looks like at 11 o'clock with the sun fully beating down on it. It's an hour later at 11 o'clock. Let's turn this on. Without um, turning the fan on, it's 100 degrees in there, which is 38 Celsius. Now, let me plug in the fan. Temperature's going up. feel the warm air starting to come out so we'll probably have um, 11 o'clock till at least 3 or 4 the Sun goes down at 5 here in Missouri now 
so the heat is on and I can turn up the um, heaters and just use the um, 60 amps from here versus the 1500 amps or watts I mean add it up to 129 31 the heat be on thanks for watching my update and I hope you all have a wonderful warm day so instead of using the 1500 watts that this pulls I'm only using 60 watts and I'll be able to turn this off as soon as the temperature comes up higher on the solar heater.